Hey guys, this is lesson 6.3 for course two. The title is percents greater than 100% or less than 1%. So make sure you have that title in your notebook right here. And if the number compared to 100 is greater than 100, then the percent is greater than 100%. So here's an example. Write 120% as a decimal and then a fraction. So 120%, if I wrote that out, the rule is if you looked at your foldable, you would take your decimal and you'd move it two places to the left. So if I wrote this as a decimal, it would be 1.2. And then if I write it as a fraction, I keep the one, and then this two is in the tenths place, so I would write 2 over 10, and then I could see that that needs to be simplified as 1 and 1 fifth. So there's my decimal, and there's my fraction. So if the number compared to 100 is less than 1, then, hold on a second, extend the page here a little bit. If the number compared to 100 is less than 1, then the percent is less than 1%. So you always want to follow your same rules. I'm going to write this 0.5% as a decimal, which means I take my decimal point and I move it two space, spaces to the left and I fill in a 0. So my decimal is 0.005 when I write that as a fraction, I have to count my space. This is the tenths, this is the hundredths, this is the thousandths place. So it would be five over 1,000, which equals one over 200. So there's my two answers, my decimal and my fraction. Okay. So, now you try it. Write 125% as a decimal and a fraction and write 0.35% as a decimal and a fraction. Push pause and then we'll correct. Okay, so the first one is 125, whoops, 25%. So if I were to write this as a decimal, I would move my decimal point two places, so it would equal 1.25. And if I were to write that as a fraction, it would equal one, and this is the tenths, this is the hundredths place, so it would be 25 over 100, which equals one, and then 25 goes into 100 four times. So one and one fourth. The next one is 0.35%. That's a tiny, tiny percent. So I'm gonna write that as a decimal, so I'm gonna move my decimal point two places to the left, one, two. So my decimal is 0.0035. And then if I wrote that as a fraction, this is the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths place. I would write 35 over 10,000. And I can divide both of those by five. So 35 divided by five is seven, and 10,000 divided by five, well, I really don't know that off the top of my head, but I know that 10 divided by five is two, and then I just add the three zeros on afterwards. So it would be seven over 2,000. Okay, so order these from least to greatest. So this you're gonna have to do on the quiz and on the test, you're gonna have to, in everything, you're gonna have to be able to do this. And they're all in different forms. We have a percent, we have two decimals, and we have a fraction. So here's how you do this. You want them all to be in the same form. 
So I'm going to change them all to decimals because I already have two decimals here. So this one is pretty easy. It's just 0.10. This is 0.17. This is 0 0.013. I'm writing them all as decimals. Think of money. And then 1 seventh. So if I wrote 1 seventh, I would have to figure out what the decimal is. So I'm going to put the 7 on the outside of the 1. Well, that doesn't work. 7 goes into 10 once. I have 3 left over. Bring down a 0. 7 goes into 30 four times. And I can stop there because all of my decimals, besides this third one, have been to the hundredths place. So if I look, now I can easel, easily... I can easily sort these from least to greatest. So my smallest one is here, because if I look at my tenths place, that's a one, okay? If I look at my, hun or my tenths place is a zero and my hundredths place is a one. So that's my smallest number, 0 0.013. That's like one penny if you covered up the three. Then I have 10 cents, 0 0.10. And then I have, or 10%, sorry. You need to write it in its original form. So that would be written as 10%. And then I have my fraction, which is 1 7th. And then my largest one is 0 0.17. So you will have to do this. Okay, next. You plan to run two and four-fifths times the distance you ran yesterday. Write this number as a percent. So, two and four-fifths. Well, it's a fraction, so my first thing I need to do is make it into a decimal. So what I do is I have my two, and then that's my decimal point, and then I need to make four-fifths into a decimal. Well, I know... Four fifths, if you did it over here, you could do five on the outside, four on the inside. Five doesn't go into four, but five goes into 48 times. So it's 0.8. So then I would put that on after. So two and four fifths equals 2.8. Now I have to make it into a percent. So from a decimal to a percent, I'm going to go two this way and I'm going to add a zero. So this equals 280%. That's a number greater than 100, or one is greater than 100%. Okay, so here's a couple problems. Three weeks is what percent of a year? And a club has 60 members. Four of the members are officers, and each officer gets six people to help them sell popcorn. How many people are selling popcorn? So let's do this first one together. Three weeks is what percent of a year? So if I took three, I, three weeks, I'm going to divide that by 52 weeks because there's 52 weeks in a year. And then I need to make it a percent. So I'm going to put my 52 on the outside and 3 on the inside. Well, that doesn't work. So 52 can't go into 30 either. So that's 0. And now I'm going to go to 300. 52 can go into 300 6 times. So 6 times 52. Well, maybe I'm too much. I think I am. I'm over by 12, so that would only be five times. Trial and error, okay? So let's times it by five, so that's 10, and then that's 26. And then I have 40 left over. 52 can't go into 40, so I bring a zero down, and I'm gonna guess seven times. So 52 times seven, 364. Perfect. So there's my decimal. So it's 0 0.057 is my decimal. And I want to make that into a percent. So if I take my decimal point and make it in, oh, 
make it into a percent, I am going to move this way to the right and it is 5.7%. 5.7% of a year. Okay, last problem. The club has 60 members. Four of the members are officers and each officer brings six people. So you have four members are officers. One, two, three, four. Okay? And then each of them brings six. So you're going to have six here, six here, six here, six here. So you have to count the initial four and then plus another 24. So there's 28 people selling popcorn out of 60. So there's 28 out of 60 selling popcorn. And this one just says how many people are selling popcorn. It doesn't ask for a percent or a decimal, which it might in the future. That's it for your homework, for your notes.